music with Miss Ethier. Yes, it's gonna be real fun. We will work together now, one for all and all for one. You will learn to dance and sing. La 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 la. Oh, what joy the music brings. So get ready. Hello everybody uh, and welcome to our music lesson for the week. Of course we have to start with our hello song. Are you ready? Eh? Eh? Okay, let's um let's tap our fingers to the beat. Ready? Hello, hello. I'm so very glad to see you. Hello, hello. How are you today? Hello, hello. I'm so very glad to see you. Hello, hello. How are you today? Okay, let's let's do like our bear hunt, like this, like brush our hands together. Ready? Hello, hello, I'm so very glad to see you. Hello, hello, how are you today? Hello, hello, I'm so very glad to see you. Hello, hello, how are you today? Let's wiggle our ears to the beat. Ready? Hello, hello. I'm so very glad to see you. Hello, hello, how are you today? Hello, hello, I'm so very glad to see you. Hello, hello, how are you today? Nice. Let's... <laughs> I don't know. Ah. Let's tap our fingers together like this. Ready? Hello, hello, I'm so very glad to see you. Hello, hello, how are you today? Hello, hello, I'm so very glad to see you. Hello, hello, how are you today? Fantastic, everybody. Thanks for doing the, the hello song with me. I've got a fun one for you guys. This is called Click, Clack, Moo. Cows that type. Oh my gosh, I never knew that cows could type like this. Of course, we know that they can't, right? And there's a little rhythm that we get to do that goes like this. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Can you try it with me one more time? Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Moo, clickety clack, moo. You got it. Let's see what happens. Ready? Okay. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears. Let's do our rhythm. Ready? Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety clack, moo. At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible. Ready? Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets. No way, said the farmer. Uh, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. Oh my goodness, sorry. Ah, there we go. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the back, uh, background, he heard the cows busy at work. Ooh, let's do our typing rhythm. Ready? Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Uh-oh, let's do it. Ready? Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, 
Clickety clack. Moo. Cows that type, hens on strike, whoever hurts of such a thing. How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. That means he's not on either side. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand moo. I guess that's the cow's language, huh? Moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for the duck to come with the typewriter. The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Now we get to do our same rhythm, except instead of moo, we're going to say quack. Ready? Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Clickety, clack, quack. And they got their diving board, didn't they? Oh, I like that story, folks. It's so silly. I like silly stories. Thanks for joining me. Alrighty, folks, it is time to get up and move. We're gonna do a song called Seven Jumps. This tests a little bit of your balance, okay? Let's have fun doing our song, everybody. Here it comes. Ready to dance? Dancing, 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 dancing. Then we stop. Clap, clap, clap and bow. Clap, clap, clap and bow. And now one foot goes up. Ready? Back to dancing. Dancing, dancing, dancing. Then we stop. Clap, clap, clap and bow. And bow. One foot goes up. And down. Other foot. Nice work, everybody. Let's see. Dancing, dancing, dancing. Then we stop. Clap, 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 and bow. Clap, 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 and bow. One foot. dancing. I'm going to do the robot. Then we stop. Clap, clap, clap and bow. Clap, clap, clap and bow. One foot. Whoa! I think that was longer. Can I do it? Can I do it? Ah! Other hand, wave to your friends. We're dancing, people. Dancing, 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 then we stop. Clap, 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 and bow. Clap, 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 and bow. One foot. Other foot. Whoa! Dancing. Dancing, dancing, dancing. One foot. Oh my goodness. Other foot. Big cheesy smile. Like a chicken, right? And let's see, we're dancing. Dancing, dancing, dancing. Then we stop. Clap, 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 and bow. Ooh, this is the long one, folks. 
Can you balance? Whoa! Whew. Here's the other one. Oh my gosh, this is hard. And then body back and lean forward. Last time, make it a really good wiggle. So a while back, I taught you a song called Frog in the Meadow, which was a little bit of a silly song if you remember. If you don't remember, or if maybe you missed that video from a while back, no worries. You'll catch on so, so quickly to how it works, and I'll remind you of it as we go along. But Frog in the Meadow goes a little something like this. Frog in the meadow, can't get him out. Take a little stick and stir him all about. My froggy stubborn, he won't come out. Hopping and a jumping and a running all about. Do you remember how that goes? Whew, I hope so. All right, should we try it one more time? And then we'll go into the next section of the song. Let's try it, ready? Frog in the meadow, can't get him out. Take a little stick and stir him all about. My froggy stubborn, he won't come out. Hopping and a jumping and a running all about. And then we get angry with the frog. So get that angry face and get that finger ready to be angry at the frog. And we go like this. Hey, froggy, you froggy, get up on my log, frog. Can we try it one more time together? Hey, froggy, you froggy, get up on my log, frog. And then we go back to singing our song, ready? Frog in the meadow, can't get him out. Take a little stick and stir him all about. My froggy stubborn, he won't come out. Hopping and a jumping and a running all about. And then this is my favorite part. This is when you get to be the froggy and the froggy's getting poked at. So the froggy goes like this. Ooh, ah, ee, ooh. Can you do that with me? The sillier the face, the better. Ready? Let's do it. Ooh, ah, ee, ooh, ooh, ah, ah, keep going, ooh, ah, ee, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Frog in the meadow, can't get him out. Take a little stick and stir him all about. My froggy stubborn, he won't come out. Hopping and a jumping and a running all about. Hey, did we get it, everybody? And did you notice the pattern of this song? So first we sang Frog in the Meadow, and then we got angry at the frog. Remember, hey, froggy. And then we sang our song again, and then we did the ooh, ah, ee, ooh. And then we sang our song. So there's really five sections to it. So sometimes in music, we will label sections of a song with a letter like A, B, or C. So if the singing part is A, we could call the, um, the angry part the B section, and then what came back? The A part again, right? So A, B, A, and then it's something different again, right? With the ooh, ah, e. So we could call that C, couldn't we? And then what did it go back to again? A, right? A, B, A, C, A. It's a little bit of a pattern, right? Nice work, everybody. Thanks for singing with me. Hello, friends. I have something really, really fun for us to do. It has to do with animals, and it's lots of fun. It talks about animals and the different number of sounds in each of the animal names. And then we use that to create some different rhythms. So what you'll need for this activity is just to look around and find something, two things that you can use like rhythm sticks. Like I'm gonna use my two Sharpie markers. You could use pencils, 
You could use a pencil and a marker. Be creative, but find something you can use for some rhythm sticks. And we're gonna talk about some different animals. First, we have this adorable little duck, right? And here's the word duck. Now, my question to you, friends, is if we were to either clap or in this case, um, tap the rhythm for duck, how many sounds do you think it would have? Let's try it, ready? Duck. Try it one more time, ready? Duck. How many did it have? One sound, right? Here, I'm gonna move myself a little bit this way so we can see. One sound is one clap, or in this case, we're gonna tap it, okay? So duck is one sound. Let's see if we have some other animals we can talk about. Aww, we have a little rabbit. So let's do the tapping test for rabbit, ready? Rabbit. Do it one more time, rabbit. How many sounds was it? Hmm. Two sounds is two claps. Boom, boom, boom. So duck is one. Rabbit, rabbit is two. Let's see what comes next. Elephant. Gosh, I wonder how many sounds would be in the elephant. Let's try it, ready? Elephant. One more time. Elephant. How many sounds, eh, eh, eh? Three sounds. Hey, are we noticing a pattern? Duck was one. Rabbit was two. Elephant is three. Hmm, interesting. Let's see what comes next, shall we? Ooh, alligator. <coughs> I wonder how many sounds an alligator would have. Let's see, ready? Alligator. One more time, ready? Alligator. How many was it? Could you tell? Four, our pattern continues. One for the duck, two for the rabbit, three for the elephant, four for the alligator. Hmm, I wonder how many sounds our final animal might have. Oh, it's a hippopotamus. Oh, my face is covering hippopotamus. Ha, huh? oh, I don't wanna cover the hippopotamus though. I'll just stay here. Hippopotamus, oh my gosh, that's a mouthful, ready? Hippopotamus. Ooh, we better try that again. Hippopotamus. One, two, three, four, five sounds. Wow. So we have duck, rabbit, elephant, alligator, hippopotamus. One, two, three, four, five, everybody. Okay, now we get to the fun activity part. Now this game would be so much more fun if you could actually be in the room with me and we could be playing back and forth. But since we're not, we'll just make it the best we can do, okay? So which one do you hear? So you see how we have the duck, rabbit, elephant, alligator, and hippopotamus all on the same screen. So I'm gonna tap something with my sticks and you need to use your ears and try and figure out which animal you think I played with my sticks. Are you ready? Hmm. Okay, here I go. I'll play it again, ready? So think about how many sounds did you hear? Did you hear four sounds? So if we hear four, oh, 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 sorry. I got too excited. <laughs> so if we hear four sounds, that means it must be alligator. Okay, let's try a different one. Hmm, hmm, okay, ready? I'll play it again. How many sounds? Did you hear three? Let's see which animal has three sounds. Is it duck? What about hippopotamus? What about elephant? Is that three sounds? Elephant? Yeah, okay. Let's do a couple more here. Hmm. Okay, ready? I'll do it one more time. How many sounds? Was it a duck? No, a duck only has one sound. I heard a lot more than that, right? Hippopotamus. 
five sounds that time. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're starting to get the idea, aren't we, friends? So now I'm going to go like this. Hiya. So now we can almost make a little rhythm using our different animals like this. So we're going to read it like we're reading a book. We'll go rabbit, rabbit, elephant, duck. And we'll tap it with our sticks. Ready? Let's try it from left to right. Rabbit, rabbit, elephant, duck. One more time. Ready? Rabbit, rabbit, elephant, duck. Now my question is, how many taps was this whole thing, all four of these animals, how many taps did we do? Hmm. Well, rabbit was two. Rabbit was two, so we had rabbit, rabbit, so that's four. Elephant is three, so if we had four already, we add another three, five, six, seven, and duck we know is just one sound, so we'd have eight sounds. Let's try it together one more time, ready? Rabbit, rabbit, elephant, duck. Let's try another combination, shall we? Ooh. So we have alligator, duck, rabbit, duck. Let's try it, ready? Alligator, duck, rabbit, duck. One more time. Alligator, duck, rabbit, duck. Sounds kind of cool that way, right? Now let's think, how many sounds do we have total again? Hmm. Alligator is four. We know that duck is one, so four plus one is five. Rabbit is two, five, six, seven. And duck is one. We have eight beats again. Interesting. The first one was eight, and this one, or this one was eight. Ah, I got my fingers all crossed. <laughs> eight. Okay, let's see, we've got one more combination. Oh my gosh, there's only two animals, interesting. We have elephant and hippopotamus. Let's try it, ready? Elephant, hippopotamus. One more time, elephant, hippopotamus. Now gosh, how could there be eight beats when there's only two animals? Do you think it could be possible? I don't know, let's check. Elephant is three, and hippopotamus is five. Five plus three is how many? It's eight. So this one has eight beats also. And you're gonna see in just a few minutes, friends, that your assignment for today has to do with our animals and putting them together and creating your very own rhythm, which will be super duper cool. Okay, so I hope you had fun doing some animal rhythms with me. Thanks, everybody. Alrighty, folks, I hope you enjoyed your lesson this week. And for your assignment, remember how we were talking about all those different animals and the different sounds that we could make? Let's see, we had duck, we had rabbit, elephant, alligator, and hippopotamus, right? One through five sounds. And so uh, your assignment, if you think back to, remember when I put different animal combinations together? And they all equaled eight beats, didn't they? Eight sounds. And so your assignment this week is to create your own animal composition, uh, animal rhythm, if you, if you wanna call it that, and it should be eight sounds. So you have to think in your brain, how are you going to make eight sounds? You could do alligator, alligator, if you wanted to, that would be eight sounds, wouldn't it? Alligator, alligator, yeah. You could do that, or you could do eight ducks, or you could do some other combination, it's totally up to you. But I would love to see your animal rhythms. You could type it out if you choose and just type out the animal names. You could take a video of you speaking the animal names and maybe clapping along with them. There's a couple different ways that you could show your animal rhythm. 
You could even draw little pictures of them if you wanted, a little elephant and a duck or whatever the animals are that you choose. But it should be eight beats of sound, okay? Have fun with your animals, everybody. Bye-bye.